This is Randy Altman's Perspective. Randy Altman has been covering the post-production industry for more than 20 years. She's currently the editor-in-chief of her own website at postperspective.com. Randy, welcome back. It is good to see you. Hi, Larry. It's good to be back. Well, I've... I've missed you these last couple of weeks as you've been off busy covering the world and, and writing incredibly great stories. But let's get back into it. What's the news this week? Well, the news is uh, one of the things I'm busy preparing for is SIMTI, which is happening next week out in L.A. in your uh, your neck of the woods. So that is um, it's kind of a big deal. It's where all these engineers come and gather, and there are tons of sessions. There's also an exhibit floor. But this year they're celebrating 100 years in existence, and um, their relationship with the HPA has also been cemented further. So you've got this organization that focuses on technology, and this other one that sort of focuses on the creativity. So they're sort of merging together, and I think that that shows up in some of the conferences that they're going to be uh, presenting at the show. The first day, and I think you're going to want to be there, is um, it's all about virtual reality and augmented reality, and how that affects um, how the production and post workflows um, need to be adjusted, and um, also delivery, all angles of VR and AR. And then the following days, more traditional type of engineering conferences, uh, you've got, they're talking about compression, they're talking about UHD, HDR, especially um, color, and how that affects all of that. So it's, it's going to be a good show. Well, SIMTI, which is the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, is very much an engineering group. And HPA, which is the Hollywood Post Association, or Hollywood Post Alliance, I guess it is, uh, yes. is really focused on the process of editing. Where do they see the synergies between the two? Well, it's it's more than just editing, too. It's the, it's the whole creative process. And they do also have technology awards, which sort of help creatives be more creative, takes the technology out of it and just lets them do their work. So they feel that this is a, a perfect combination of engineering and creativity. So going forward, they have their HBA tech retreat that happens in Indian Wells down in the Palm Springs area in February. And that is also pretty intensive with technology, but also creativity type panels. Well, thinking about this, the HPA really represents the high end of the post market. These are people that are editing all the, the A-level films. What's happening in the industry to help mentor youngsters, to help them get started and join the ranks of A-list editors? Well, there are a couple of different things that are going on right now. One is, and I think I've mentioned this on the show before, the um, Blue Collar Post, um, Blue Collar Post Collective, which is um, an organization that has sort of its grassroots. It started in New York, and it is young people that might not be able to attend a SIMTI or an HBA tech retreat. So they sort of started gathering at places around Manhattan and um, building it up from there. So that's, that's one thing that's kind of cool. In terms of mentoring, I interviewed um, the editor Mick Audsley recently. He he cut Everest, and he's cut like Twelve Monkeys, and and Goblet of Fire, and a ton of other really uh, impressive films. He uh, is based in London, and he and some other filmmakers have have started something called Sprocket Rocket Soho. And what they want to do is bring young talent and some of the veteran talent together to learn from each other, especially in this digital age when everybody is sort of in their own little pockets. So they're going to be doing that with um, a website sprocketrocketsoho.com and also some events that are going to happen and, and get people in the room teaching, mentoring, uh, just building on that. Randy, thanks for joining us today. Randy Altman is the editor-in-chief of postperspective.com. Randy, as always, a delight chatting with you. Thanks, Larry. Take care. To read more from Randy Altman, visit postperspective.com.